Okay, this is Mr. Hanley um, recording a video showing you how to do a 2D button array for uh, a matching game. Got the bird's hat on here. Okay, let's go ahead and first make our model. Duty array of integers that's going to represent our game data. All right, Oop. can't spell. What goes in a model? Obviously a 2D array. And call mine tiles. I don't think I'll actually um, instantiate the array until uh, the constructor. And pass in a size. Obviously, it's got to be even. Um, three by three won't work. That'll be nine buttons. Five by five won't work. That'll be 25 buttons. You need groups of two. May have an initialized method as well. I go through and place uh, groups uh, of two numbers into the array. Two ones, two twos, two threes, two fours. Okay, and then we have. Oh, you guys want to say that? Clipper. There's Clipper. Hey, Clipper. Then we have the uh, frame. So if we're going to make a frame. What we'll do is say swing GUI form, dry frame form, uh, matching frame. And again, this applies to Minesweeper or um, Battleship, um, any other game that you need to do that has a graphical interface. I've used it for Hangman. Uh, it's just a button array is so much more convenient than um, having individual buttons. And uh, so I'm going to drag my window out a little bit. I won't set my left and all. I usually set my left and all, but I'll do something different here. I'll get a panel. For my matching game. I think I'll call my panel. Uh, game PAN for panel. I'm going to want a grid layout, but I, I'm going to want to decide that during the running of the program. So actually, I'm not going to put the grid layout in the designer like I do for the Java semester class. Just have to update my template there. It's a little out, out of date. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we do want a 2D array of integers. I mean, sorry, 2D array of J buttons. I usually put my global variables at the top. I'm going to call it the butt array. And I guess what size it's going to be depends on what size the game is going to be. This will default to a 4x4 four four button array, and then if we want to go 6x6, six six, we can do that. Okay. And uh, we do need to fix imports. That's not by default imported. So we're good there. Um... 
You might want to have a global size variable. Not sure if that's important, but I'm going to go with it. And default to a size 4. Um, in my constructor, I'm going to go ahead and do some magic here. And uh, before I get there, I will do. Uh, I'll implement action listener. Okay, and that's going to give me an error as well, so I'm going to have to right click and fix imports there. Uh, and then I'm going to get another error that says that I haven't implemented the action perform method. Okay, and so I'm going to have to come up with an action perform method. If you click, it'll say implement all, all abstract methods, and it'll give you a default one. It's not, you know, it's it just throws an exception, so it's not useful in that sense, but at least for getting the right um, name of the parameter and things like that. That's whenever someone clicks a button, it's going to come right to this part of the code. Okay. And let's go ahead and do our initialization. I suppose I probably should write a dedicated method to do this instead of putting in the constructor. I'll do a private, uh, which is only for this particular class, private void um, initialize. And I think what we're going to do is do nested for loops. Suppose I probably should um, set up the grid layout before I do my nested for loops. So let's take this um, the button panel, game panel. I don't think I called it game. Oh, you did. Set layout. New. Good layout. And I want to make it size by size. Oh, you can't you can't find that. Okay. And it's just a question of the for loop now. So what that means is there'll be like a four by four or six by six. You know, I guess you go eight by eight. It's a lot of tiles to flip over. I'm gonna do a bunch of things inside here. I'm gonna create a new J button. That's important. And uh, even though I have a button array, I don't have specific buttons to go with each slot in the array. So I do have to do this um, for each of the buttons. I'm going to make them different colors for fun. times 40 plus C and then 255 minus R times 10. I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just winging it with these three. I'm assuming it can accept a color uh, 